Hello everyone, this is Sam from DataQ Studio. After a while, I came back. In this short video, I want to talk about hidden edges, which it is important in some cases like when you're a freelancer artist trying to publish your products in online platforms. Note that if I create uh, some simple shape like plane, all right, and note that I pressed F4 from my keyboard to see the edges and pressed 7 from my keyboard to show the polygons and vertices. As you see, the polygons here is written 32, but if I count 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4, which it is 16. Why this happening? Because in 3D geometries, actually we don't have any polygons or even quads. We have actually the triangle. If I go to display tab and disable edges only, now you will see the hidden edges. All right. Allow me to enable that again. And now if I convert it to editable mesh, it's still it is 32 because mesh also using triangles. Allow me to enable edges and in the surface properties, you could click on visible. Nothing happened because I didn't select anything. I will select them all. Now you will see. And even if I click on auto edge based on the angle, of course, you will see they were removed or you could set. And that's important, especially when you're working with editable poly. If I convert it to editable poly, now you won't see. And as you see, now we have 16 polygons. Of course, it is 16 polygons. But let's say I select this vertex and move it up. As you see, it is broken. Which means we have, of course, hidden edges. So if I connect them together, it is exact same result. But of course, we have more polygons. And note that it is important to allow me to recreate the plane. Also, something may be different and is not relative, but in some cases, you might apply something like that iteration and isoline display. It is not good also. We have here hidden edges too. If I go to display and edges only, you see, now we have much more than this. And because of that, if I convert it to editable poly or collapse it from modifier stack here, right click and collapse to, yes, doesn't matter mesh or poly, we have some extra vertices here. So do not do that either, it is totally wrong. You could of course remove them, if you need you could connect them, but I will undo them and never collapse your geometry with isoline display also. And one thing, it is not so relative but kinda could use. If I create a sphere, Allow me to change the color to be more visible. All right. And convert it to editable mesh. Note that on the edges, allow me to select them all. And the surface is visible or invisible. We have all two edges and angle. In some cases, you might need to use that based on the angle and for optimization or so. For example, here it is 15. If I click all to edge because it is selected set and clear. It will remove them all and if I collapse it to poly nothing left here in some cases one triangle allow me to undo that select the edges here we have let's say five degree and alter edge to five degrees similar close together they will remove and if I convert it to editable poly there it is we don't have edges of course you know we have the hidden edges here, but we don't see, and it is not correct topology for modeling or so. And finally, in some cases, if you have a geometry, simple one, let's say something like that, and convert it to editable mesh. Now, if I set something like this, we have extra edges. In some cases, you might need like game modeling we need triangles but if you accidentally collapse it and modify it and you need to revert it if you didn't change the overall topology you could after collapsing to editable poly go to modeling 
geometry, you could click on quadrify all. Also, if you don't see, we have here too. I could simply click on that, and there it is. Another method to make a triangles, you could apply turn to poly and enable limit polygon size and set the max size to 3. Of course, you know the revert back, it is geometry and quadrify. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.